Welcome back, fellow Lufians. And this one goes out to all the folks on the Game Facts board. And I just want to say thanks for all the fun challenges so far. And in fact, what's going on right now is I am just about to complete Surge, or Serge's challenge. And that was that I can only equip items that begin with the character's the first letter of the character's name and after analyzing it I came up with Salon, Maxim, Dakar, and Lexus as the best team. Now Dakar might not be the best except that another part of that challenge was that the capsule monster I used had to have the first letter of the name same as one of the characters in my party. And I, Darby's my favorite, and I knew he would give me a competitive edge against a lot of the enemies. Now, another part of that challenge was I could choose whether or not to kill every enemy. And I pushed out on that one. But one thing that I did do, because the challenge allowed me to bring in blue chests, as long, again, as it started with the first letter of the name of the character, but I passed on that. I, brought in no blue chests and right now you can see the experience levels 62 for Salon and Lexus 63 for Maxim and Dakar and that's pretty good considering I could not fight any silver or gold dragons and there were actually quite a few enemies I avoided like Surficos and Sly Foxes and just to see exactly what I came up with for equipment Salon has a super sword and a sizzle sword. Now you'll see all kinds of items down here because I didn't use a clean save file when I started this challenge. So you just have to take my word for it that I actually completed it. But she had a super sword or sizzle sword, silk robe, speedy ring, which was, came in very handy, and a song rock, which is just about worthless. Dakar, Dakar blade, big surprise, and just about the only other thing he could use was a deadly armor. Fortunately, I found that. Maxim found a myth blade late. For the majority of the time, he had a mist rapier. Actually, I shouldn't say a majority of the time. He didn't find the mist rapier until the 70s. And up until then, he had no weapon whatsoever. Got super lucky with a drop of a mage shield from a... Oh, I forget what they're called. I call them lizard wizards, but they're obviously not. Lexus had a choice. This is an uncursed lucky blade, which is something you should try sometime if you've never tried it. A very good neutral weapon that performs a and uh, what kind of attack do you call that? Anyway, that attack that is hits for extra damage. Can't remember what it's called. Also, he's got a launcher very helpful against the flying enemies and as you can see a lot of stuff not equipped there so here we are on 98 there were some groupings of metallic dragons that I could defeat and that was two bronze or excuse me copper no way. And hopefully I can end my streak of horrible endings on YouTube. And here we go, two copper dragons and I'm trying to think of what my pattern has been. First round, I have Lexus power everyone else up with trick. Then I'll have Maxim and Salon casting Coma. Try to put them to sleep. And there was, in the challenge, there was no... Excuse me. There was no uh, restrictions on how much magic you could use. So I knew from the beginning that Maxim would probably be a spellcaster. 
Now you can see this put both of them to sleep, which is excellent. The reason I had Dakar defending in the first, first round is I didn't want him to knock one of these dragons uh, back awake. I wanted them to stay asleep as long as possible. And, again, luckily they're both asleep. And you can see this is pretty tedious, but this is the only way that I could safely defeat the Copper Dragons. Of course, Silver and Gold cannot be put to sleep, so that's why I have to avoid them. Plus, the best weapon for Lexus would be the Lizard Blow, and I found none. I had very few treasure rooms in this run. I think I ended up having about four in the second half, but floors 1 through 50, I had the zero. And there's Lexus and Salon getting up to 63 as well. And of course, we want to avoid those double golds. And here we go again. So it looks like I'm going to take up way too much time. I was hoping to get this in a 10 minute video and I talked too much. Plus these battles with the Copper Dragons take too long. So I might have to make this a two video deal. Not to mention I think I just screwed up. I was supposed to cast coma on both of these guys. Now Salon, this is what's dangerous about this, is Salon is the only one that is faster than the metallic dragons. The closest I came to death was about 10 floors ago when I miscounted. You can see what Cinder Blast does with no equipment. Ugh. I miscounted the steps of a dragon I was tracking. It ran right into the side of me and got a surprise attack. Now I'm going to take a chance and do coma on this guy, but I have an 8 in 10 chance. Turns out one of the two dragons that surprise attacked me was a Goldie. Now I'm going to get attacked again. No, good. Because that would have put two characters down. Anyway, back to that Goldie. Of the three moves he performed, None were the attack alls, like Stardust Blow or Fry. Then in the second round, I was still screwed because I only had one character in my party that was faster, Salon. I tried to run anyway, and it granted it to me. It took no damage getting out of there. Super lucky. So sometimes it definitely takes some luck. Now this guy's going to be easier to get at from below. And again, unless it's one copper or two coppers, there's no way I can beat it. Aqua Sword would have been decent earlier in the run if I had Artia in the party. <laughs> two coppers again. Yeah, this is going to be a two video deal. I don't... I'm already at the nine minute mark, so I don't really feel like splicing. Yeah, I'll come back. Alrighty, back. Just defeated those two coppers. Dakar leveled up so you can see, not surprisingly, he has the highest experience level because he survives almost any fight. Despite the lack of equipment. And looks like floor 98 is just about done. All four of my characters are full of IP, which normally you would want facing the master. But in this case, I don't think I have what it takes unless I've got a... Maybe I've got a Gaty's Blade in here. 
Anyway, thanks again to Serge, Serge, whatever, for the great challenge that I didn't think was going to be great, but it turned out it was, it's possible to go through the AC with such restrictions on what you can equip. I don't think I would try it with any other party. I don't know that it would work or be as fun. But thanks again for a great challenge. And it is possible.